Hi, my name is Lacey Bemister, and this is Serena Besick, and we're both students here at Algonquin College taking the dental hygiene program. In this video, we will focus on the importance of taking meticulous care of the senior's dentures, including a step-by-step -step procedure of how to clean the denture, how to store them, how to properly use adhesives, and tips on how to recognize ill-fitting dentures. In this segment, we will talk about proper denture cleaning. First, you will want to assemble all the material. The material you will need to effectively clean the denture is a towel, a warm bowl of water, or you can use a sink, a soft denture brush, a denture cleaning solution, or a mild soap solution. Next, you will want to create an accident-proof workspace. Start by accident-proofing the surface you will work over by placing a face cloth at the bottom of the sink or partially filling the sink. This will provide a cushion should the denture be dropped. Dentures can break if dropped on a hard surface. Next, you will want to do a primary rinse. Grasp the denture in your non-dominant hand without squeezing it too hard as dentures can break with too much pressure. Next, you will want to rinse the denture after removal by running it under warm water to remove any loose particles or food debris. Next, you'll want to gently brush the denture with a soft denture brush for approximately 30 seconds using your dominant hand. Pay extra attention around the small curves and grooves of the client's denture as it is where most particles will catch. Next, you'll want to use the cleaning product. You can use a gel, paste, tablet, or mild non-toxic soap solution as a cleansing agent. This will help the denture return to the, its original color and kill any bacteria on the surface. Read the denture cleaner manufacturer's instructions as they are all different. After properly reading the instructions, you can apply the cleaning solution. Lightly brush the denture for 30 seconds with a soft denture brush and rinse thoroughly after brushing with warm running water to make and make sure that no denture solution is left on the denture. It is important to not use regular toothpaste or any abrasive cleaner such as baking soda as they can damage and scratch the denture. It is important to take this time to inspect the freshly cleaned denture for any of the evidence of debris or signs of wear. Next we will talk about storage. It is extremely important that the client take their dentures out before bed. The tissues need time to breathe and recover after being concealed for so long. If taking them out at night is not an option, try to remove them for at least one or more hour a day. After removal, store in warm, fresh, clean water to prevent drying and warping. Be sure to never place in hot water. Ensure the denture is fully submerged. Various soaking solutions are available as well if desired. Also remember to replace soaking cups and denture brushes every three to six months to avoid bacterial contamination. It's important to watch out for ill-fitting dentures and diseases. Gums and bone continue to change over time. It's important to recognize that they aren't fitting the client right. Watch for signs of discomfort and poor retention while chewing. It's also important to look after their gums and remaining teeth if applicable. Give the mouth a good rinse with water after removing the denture and massage the gums with a damp washcloth. Remaining teeth should be brushed, flossed in the morning and at night.
Poor fitting dentures can cause sores, infections, and irritation. Watch for signs of red areas on the palate and the floor of the mouth where the dentures rest, for signs of dry mouth, and for red areas at the corner of the mouth. If any of these symptoms are present in the clients you care for, please refer them out to their, their doctor or the dentist for further examination. It is really important to encourage frequent dental visits, especially with new dentures. Dental professionals will be able to thoroughly examine tissues for changes and sores, as well as properly clean the dentures and oral cavity. We hope you can implement some of what you've learned here today into your daily practice. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch our video.